still tooting on that oxygen. You, you having a rough day? Yeah, it's too hot out there. It's too long of a weekend? It's muggy. Mm. It was a boring weekend. You Memorial day it up? Yeah, all I did was watch that, and it made me sad. Yep. Yep. This whole world we're living in is real in bad shape, boys. Oh, there ain't no doubt about that. There ain't no doubt. But welcome back to the Duck Call Room. Anyway, it's been a long Memorial Day weekend. Um, you know, to those that paid Third. the ultimate That's sacrifice. Mm -hmm. Yep. And gave uh, their all. Yeah, we, uh, we're we appreciative because it, yep. it, it allows us to sit here and opine about nothing, uh, which is what we're good at. For the families of those who um, paid the ultimate sacrifice, mm -hmm. our, our thoughts and hey, prayers hey, are hey, with yeah. you. Yep. yep. We love you, um, you know, and uh, I'm sure that most of them you talk to don't seem like they, they'd do anything different if they could have. So yeah, Most you know, of them did what they was... What, what they, they signed wanted, up to yeah, do. What they wanted to do. Yeah. They were okay yeah. with that. But it just, it amazes me what the human spirit can rise to on some of the stuff that these guys have done. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you yeah. see those movies and shows about oh, no. it, and you're like, now do what? Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> my, my brother, he came back from overseas, and he actually... Stood on like Omaha Beach and all the places, D Day, all that. He stood in both places where the Germans was, and then he stood where the Americans was. And he come back and he said, "I, I've never really understood, but thank you, brother, for your service." Mm. He said because I, I had no clue of what you guys actually really face sometimes. And I said, "Well, I, I, hadn't, I've been very fortunate. I ain't had any real bad experiences." Yeah, that beach ain't Gulf Shores. But, mm -hmm. hey. It's big. Yo, some that of them. Is, is some that his of, oxygen? That's his oxygen. Hey, in case y'all are wondering, there was a little audio deal. If you're listening to this, you probably heard. <laughs> psh, psh. That was Sai's oxygen. <laughs> right. He's fine. Psh. He's turned right. it off. It. So uh, we should have that, that issue. It's a warm day outside here. It was. It's oh, it's hot. It's muggy. Sai, yeah. you're actually doing a little bit better since uh, you met with that doctor. Seems like. Conley, yeah, Connolly was a poor, pretty cool dude. Yeah. The doc? That's yeah, the one yeah. that's putting the stuff in your lungs? Uh, well. Perhaps. I don't think I'm going to, uh, I don't think I'm going to fit the bill, so to speak. Well, that's, that's probably a good thing then, huh? Well, no, it is. Yeah, yeah it could yeah. be. Either yeah. way, it's yeah. good. Either way, I ain't worried about it. Yeah, Dang, I, I was I, hoping to see Cy late night on the game show network on commercials. Oh, no, because look, I'm on, I'm on uh, four <laughs> bonus years right now. <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, the, hey, the the good Lord promises you seventy years. I'm seventy four, so I'm I'm on the bonus, boys. He's free rolling. I'm free rolling right now. <laughs> Where's well, I ain't worried about it. seventy hey, years. No, yeah, hey, yeah. look, I went to Jamestown in Virginia, where the Pilgrims landed. Okay, John, John Smith, all them, yeah. But <laughs> and the boys. The, the thing Boy. that impressed me the most though, is when we went through the cemetery up there. What was that? And most of them had it written in on their tombstone. Don't don't uh, stand there worrying about me. I'm just waiting on the resurrection. If it was on one, it was on a hundred. There you go. That's why yeah. all of us should feel. Yeah. Well, no, no. That's what that's my why I said. Said. Hey, That's why I said, look, hey, death ain't nothing but a change of address, boys. Change. So, so listen yeah. to this. Now, I don't know if you've told this story or not, but me and Sire coming back from Houston, and we happened to – call a buddy of ours saying hey meet us at the steakhouse we're gonna get us a nice steak before we go home medium plus real nice and medium plus not medium well and the chef was incorrect on his assessment on that <laughs> there new york i think that's where you're from but hey you was wrong it is a medium plus it is after i get it them every it. time i order it so when anyway, they do it correctly. That's because they just think you're a crazy old man. They give you medium well and see if you notice. No, it ain't medium oh, this, well. No, it was perfect. It's light, light, light pink in the middle. That's medium plus. But this is weird because between medium and medium. But hey, let me tell a story. This is important. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, he says, uh, you know, guys, since we're here together, I, I do want to tell you, I've just been struggling with something. My son is engaged to be married, and his wife don't know if she can have kids or not. You know. 
And so I said, that's my story. I convinced a lady to marry me. For, it took me 14 hours, and he told the whole story. Hours. But she, she said, Si, you're so good with kids. Miss Christine did. She said, I can't marry you because I can't give you kids. I can't have kids. So I said, don't worry, I know somebody. And she was like. Well, she laughed at it and talking about, you know somebody. I said, hey, I told you, if we're supposed to have children, we'll have them. So now he's got eight grand boys and two, yeah. two kids of his own. It's, yeah. That's ten miracle babies. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, Brittany was always told it'd be tough for her, too, and here we are. That's wild. When, when you say that, okay, with us, everything is not possible. Right. But with the Almighty, everything is possible. And so that's what you that's, were telling Sal. Uh, and yeah, Sal said, yeah. you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to tell my son this story because they yeah. need to hear he this. He said he needs to hear it to make up his decision, well, am I going to marry this woman because I love her? But, you know, and I said, well, hey, here's another thing. If that don't work out, there's babies out there that need to be adopted for kind of that. That's life. right. That's true. Mm-hmm. Ain't that the truth? Yeah. So, hey, yeah. either way, okay, God will provide you a child. Mm-hmm. Okay, because that's when Abraham, I think, was going to kill his son. Mm-hmm. It says, Abraham had reasoned in his mind mm-hmm. that he could he could raise him from the dead. Yep, that's that's a strong faith. Yeah. You so, know, so it, I'm going to uh, tell you, I know you were praying for my wife when she was going through some tests, and, and you guys were too. I really appreciate that. But, you know, God is good. Um, just when you think things are out of control and, and when you can't control things, it's scary. You know, and I stopped by a duck commander on my way to Baton Rouge and, uh, sat down with Justin and we had a prayer and just calmed me down. Cause I was, I was just, oh, yeah. so I don't know. Anxiety. You were yeah. yeah. but we got down to, uh, the doctors and did a bunch of tests and they said, your wife's fine. She's great. Everything's wonderful. She's healthy as a horse. I just like, you know, yeah. I mean. Oh, no, no. See, that's the thing. Most people don't realize, okay? You said God God is great all the time. Yes. Okay, because they blame the wrong person for all the, the wrong stuff that is going on. No, that's true. Okay, there's two supreme beings, or well, there's four, really. <laughs> you know, Father, Son, Holy Spirit, and then there's the evil one, okay? And I, that's where all the bad stuff comes from. Yep, okay. he seeks around, seeking whom he can destroy. Yeah, you know, but you know, you know, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are always good stuff. Always good stuff. Amen. Ain't that the truth? Well, let's take our first break. We'll be back right after this. Sire, si, are you ready? What are, you, are we going for? He's boy? always. What ready. do you think you're going for, Sire? Si? Well, hey, all I know, it must be about. <clears throat> you can only find it one place on this planet. Where, Where is, is it? Si? That's the pristine waters of New Zealand. What is it? And then, hey, it's called Omega XL. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Look, I call it my first responders. What does it do? You for got you? them SPM boys? Yeah. When you're young, you got your body's full of them, and they're working. When you get my age at 74, <laughs> there's a little bit lacking in that department. So, hey, Omega XL has filled the bill. Mm-hmm. I take a couple of them. I call them my first responders. Oh, yeah. They turn the sirens on, and they f- just 120 miles an hour to the point <laughs> of information, boys, and they take care of business, and that's all it is to it. And look, you order it. Okay, you order the first one. What happens with the second one? The second one is free. Yeah, Mom, baby. Tell them about it. <laughs> uh. Oh, Omega XL can help restore your SPMs and rejuvenate joints and muscles so that you can move like you did when you were young. Oh, yeah. That's it, man. And that's, a, I mean, that's what we're all really after, right? You just want to keep on going. Found kill the, the youth. Kill the inflammation. Kill the pain. All in one shot. Order Omega XL now and get a second bottle for free. Visit OmegaXL.com slash duck. That's OmegaXL.com slash duck. Or call 1-800-844-4888. 1 800 844 4888. Not one. Hey, but two. And the second one is free. free. Did you get that? The second one is free. free. 
So, Sai, you celebrated by watching all the historical things. Yep. What what you what about you, Sean? Y'all swim? Y'all, did y'all work? You open on Memorial Day? We were. My dad handles that. Oh. Um, people go out and go fishing on Memorial Day, and we're there to make sure they can. But, no, me and my wife did go see a film. Top Gun? About the Navy. How was it? Bum, 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 Everything bum, I've read bum, said it's better than one. Bum, is, yeah. that, is that true? Yeah. Here's the deal. I'm going to see it tonight. Don't blow it. I will me. not blow it for you, but every sequel ever made pretty much ruins the first one. Mm-hmm. Yes. And yeah. I, I don't go to a lot of stuff. I'm like, no, that was a great movie. Why are we redoing this? But I, I was the guy with Tom Cruise in his dorm room with the thumbs up, and I had the Maverick T-shirt back in the day in high school, and the movie was old then. Um, I, I might go with you tonight. It is that good. It's, okay. It's wonderful. Wow. Huh. Go America is all I have to say, too. It's good. Look at there. Like, all, like... The, all the hype you've heard. If you're the guy like me who's like, ah, sequels are for suckers. Yeah. They're going to ruin yeah. the story about yeah. Goose and Maverick and yeah. all the love oh, yeah. and how yeah. Iceman and they're all friends at the end. They're going to ruin it. No. Tom Cruise said, we're going to make it even better. It was fantastic. Huh. My wife loved it. That's a ringing that's pretty, endorsement oh, that's, exciting. that's pretty amazing when you think about it. Yeah, and it's just a remake of you know. Well, and you know, a lot of these movies these days got you know political woke. But this is America rules, t- Tom Cruise rules, and we're gonna fight fast in planes, baby. <laughs> so I'm no excited. Oh, I almost cheered a couple times <laughs> on more than one occasion. <laughs> we need to all go to the movies, but don't bring Mountain Man. Well, that, hey. <laughs> I wasn't planning on it. Yeah. Oh, it was awesome, though. I, I mean, I can't. I mean, my wife had never seen the first Top Gun, which, you know, I should have asked her before we got married. But it, it should have been a prerequisite. But, so we watched the original Top Gun Saturday night, and then went and saw Top Gun on Sunday after church. And, I mean, it was wonderful. Oh, well, to you, wow. it was impressive. They, they oh. did a good job. They He's impressed. Job. Okay. I am. Okay. Go yeah. Navy. Yeah. Beat Army? B- well... <laughs> Watch oh, it now. No, I had a bu- actually, no, yeah. Oh, hey, we work together, guys. No, oh, that's that's, that's just what you always hear for the Army Navy football game. <laughs> yeah. Go unless, Navy, beat unless Army. Unless you play, yeah. Unless you play in a football game. One yeah. of my best friends from high school went to Navy, <laughs> so I will say, go Navy, beat Army. Uh, I'm on, go. I'm on the Navy side. <laughs> You may Plus, get, you may get dope pop though, because I was sitting right there by you. Oh, no, no, because awesome. that's what was so cool about this weekend. Okay, when I was watching all this stuff. You know, and then they done the concert that they always do in D.C. Okay, and the bands come out and just stand for your your song. You know, well, I, I actually stood twice. Oh, wow. Because Dad's go. picture's over there. And yeah. He, he was in the Navy. That's pretty wow. cool. Okay, so it, it, I just, it just hit me. I said, this is pretty cool. And I, <laughs> I tell you, gents, what yesterday was for me. Uh-uh. Seven years, boys. Oh, congratulations. Seven-year anniversary. All right. So we got this thing whooped now, son. Seven oh, years. Yeah. Seven years. That's big. Yeah, that's big time. <laughs> that's more than six of them. Yeah. <laughs> I said eighth is going to be the one that tests us. Oh. Uh, that's but. not true, friend. Um, John David, how long have you been You're married? remodeling a house and your wife is pregnant with twins. That's I'm, what's going to test him. I'm, that's <laughs> what I'm saying. Number eight is going to be the roughest oh, one yeah. of all of them. Yeah, yeah. No, it's, you got this oh, yeah. in the bag. Yeah, she how called, long have you been she, married? She called me today. She said, so they're here working on the house. I said, <laughs> yeah. She said they forgot to turn off the air conditioner. What? So it's blowing dust because they're tearing up some tile. Uh-oh. And I said, well, 9 out of 10 ain't bad. <laughs> yeah. 90%, you, you go a long way. I said, I'll, I'll clean it up. It happens. You know, whatever. Meatloaf said 2 out of 3. It yeah. It ain't bad. No, it ain't bad. Meatloaf said that? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two yeah. out of three ain't bad. Two out of three, yeah, three out of three. Four, yeah. I guess I only heard the but, one meatloaf song. I want you. Yeah. <laughs> I won't. I need you. I don't know. Oh, but Lord. there ain't no way. You'd probably Hand be good si. karaoke. Nah, uh, I can't make it. <laughs> <laughs> so so they, seven years. So seven years. Memorial Day, and you celebrated your seven-year anniversary. Uh-huh. That's big time. And I cooked what may be my favorite thing Uh-oh. that comes off a cow Uh-oh. now. Uh-oh. I was about to say that's a pig, but then you said yeah, it comes that comes off, off a cow. cow. What you, kind of steak? Well, see, here's the deal. Beef ribs, buddy. Am yes. I right? Oh, yes. oh, beef ribs, buddy. Okay. okay. Yes. Okay. If you've never had 
bone-in beef short ribs. That's like a dinosaur rib. It is so good. Mm. It is it, the way I would describe it is bone-in brisket. Hmm. Think of it like bone-in bone in brisket. Did you have leftovers? You must have got a good. No, cook. I did not. You must have got a good cook on it. Who doesn't have leftovers? Uh, after it was that. like bone-in well, brisket. We were over at a Buddy's house, and I took them. I'm glad I didn't take mm-hmm. them as a main attraction because I thought five pounds. Yeah, you know, I read five pounds on package. I was like, that'd be enough for yeah, most that's, of them. That's it. a couple pounds of bone. Yeah, got two, got three big bones in that rack. So it really cut down to where everybody got just like a couple of slices. But a bone in beef rib. Oh, it's good. He fire. You cook him to about 200, then you let him rest. Took about six hours. I'm not good at the let them rest part of barbecue. No, that's why you got to put them up and hide them. Once you can't. You can't see them. You can't like let them rest where you're looking at them. Yeah, because you I, eat them. I know you got to put them. To, them. Yeah, you got to put them to bed and walk away from. Oh yeah, them. yeah. I'm not a let them rest. Yeah, that's the hardest thing over there when stone cook. And then you go back in there and you wake him up. You say, "Are you ready? <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> it's your time." And then you get him out and you start slicing. Uh, Word to wise, even after a 30 minute rest time, that bone is still hot. Very oh, yeah. hot oh, if yeah. you grab it. Yeah. <laughs> I said, "Ooh, ooh, okay, okay." Uh, let, let, I need some gloves. Let's let's find some gloves. But folks at home, bone in beef ribs. Did you use the W sauce? I did not. Mine came in. I hadn't ooh. tried it yet. Salt, pepper, paprika, garlic. That's all ooh. I put on them. Ooh. Yeah, Texas barbecue at its finest. You got the W W sauce, huh? Well, my, when Martin tells me something, yeah. I immediately buy it. Also, <laughs> and it. Mm. My mother stumbled across some more of that little Debbie ice cream. You, he texted me a picture, and she bought everyone they has. So I've been, I've been, I've been sampling. <laughs> I, I will say, number one in that whole version. There it is. There's the picture Martin sent me though. Uh, yeah, I texted John David that. I said, "Love you, mean it." I said, "Well, where's mine? What, yeah. is, what is? What is it? Him is good. Star certifiably good, right there." I used to keep Star Crunch in the refrigerator and then get like a gallon of milk out and drink yeah. the whole thing and put the Star Crunch in the milk until it got like really cold and kind of. Mm-hmm. That one's good. Chewy. Star Crunch. That one's good. Star- out of all the other ones, like he's not just, you know, ice cream with a little bit of the cake in it. He's <laughs> he good. He real good. Well, it's good to know your mom bought them all, so I won't. She only them. bought one. Fresh out. Oh. She just bought like a sample uh, pack. All the one, bro. Oh. Yeah. So, I was about to say, so I know not to run by Walmart. No, she just bought like one of each to try them out. <laughs> okay. But he he's he's top of the heap, no doubt about it. That one, Star Crunch. You run across that Star Crunch ice cream, go ahead and grab him. <laughs> he's good. My mom made Milky Way ice cream. That's her damn. That sounds good. Oh, it's legit. She made it herself? Mm-hmm. That's, my whole life, whenever mom makes homemade ice cream, it's Milky Way, and it's wonderful. I like a Milky Way. Imagine it in ice cream. I like a Tree Musketeers, too. The tree musketeers. <laughs> the tree musketeers. Tree. He's st- he's over here, literally all sides doing right now is thinking that we're wrong because we hadn't said black walnut. <laughs> no, no, no. Oh, it's fine. No, I'm actually sitting here thinking about thanking the fans for the lemon juice and for the knife. Yeah, oh, we, we that's what a, I was thinking. We had a couple gifts come. Yeah. Paul yeah. from Texas. I opened up the box. It said to the duck call room. It was just packets of lemon. Yeah. Uh, lemon. So that was for Cy. And then our man Andrew, who sent us a few things since. Snip Daddy. Uh, yeah, he's he's part of that club. He made uh, Jace a knife too. And then he the, sent like a dragon knife. Yeah, a dragon knife, which is stuck in my chia pet. Whatever that thing is. Voodoo doll. And then the guy that actually Austin that sent me the uh, arrow hits. There you go. These are cool. And look, hey, I, it was a good mail weekend because there is a box slam full of some peanut kind of butter and some kind of chocolate. peanut butter cup. Yeah, they're peanut not Reese's. And chocolate. They're some OG. I can't remember the name of them, but they could be better than. But that. his name said from Big Head. Big Head. Oh, was, you know Big Head. At first, I thought it was too Big Head, yeah. which I just assumed yeah. was yeah. me. Yeah, would be because him. that's what I've been called my whole life. <laughs> that's it. I wouldn't have, uh, if it said the big head, I would have been like, well, that's Martin. But then I reread it and it said from big head. So big head, you yeah. know, you know you and thank you, big head. Thank you. <laughs> big head, you wherever you, you are. are. Yeah. Oh, wait. You know who you are. Big head has, e- I just searched all our emails. And there it was. And there's big head. Big head once sent an email about deer running from a black panther. Oh. About what running from a black panther? Deer. Big a deer? Head. 
They jumped off a bridge trying to get away from a black panther. Oh, hey, hey, big go. head. That's what I'm talking about. Hey, Harry Flowers, go, big head. I'm watching it. <laughs> Are we taking a break? Yeah, so let's I can watch let's, this video. Yeah, let's take a break. We'll be back. I'll report He's got back. It on video. Look, it's summertime, and one of our favorite things to do is sit outside, I love smoke meat, cook, be comfortable, mm-hmm. watch baseball, do all the things on the outside. But when you're out there, you need to be relaxed. Got to be. Got to be comfortable. So our friends over at Outer have got the ultimate places to relax. Whether you need a fire pit to keep you warm if you want them cold-blooded people, that's fine. Louisiana, that ain't really your thing. You want a big sectional for outside. If you really like living outside, like if you live above St. Louis and you can be outside (laughs) for a good (laughs) amount of the year, this is probably a good thing for you. That's a cool thing. I sat outside last night on me and Allison sectional. We watched a little Netflix. It it just feels good to be outside. It does. I like doing indoor things outside. There you go. Cool in the evenings. That's what I'm talking about. But if you need that, you need a table, you need ottomans, whatever you need, Outer can take care of you so you can have the ultimate outdoor living space. You live on a lake, they got you. Mm-hmm. The cool thing is, like down here, you fight pollen, dust, dirt, dander, all that mess. No, they got you covered too. Literally, covers. They got covers for all their stuff to keep it clean. That way you can just walk out there and you ain't spending all your time cleaning the outside. Outer makes the world's most beautiful, comfortable, innovative, and high-quality outdoor furniture, all from sustainable materials, and is the only outdoor furniture with a patented built-in cover to make protecting it effortless they have teak chairs fire pit tables everything they make has a look and feel of what you'd expect at a five-star resort you can have a five-star resort in your backyard that's where we're at they're better in every way because they spent years perfecting outdoor products modular designs life-proof material a thousand neighborhood showrooms if you want to go look at this there's a place just hop on the website go to a virtual showroom you can go look at what somebody did to their backyard coolest thing as you sit there they got triple memory foam cushion not one, not two, but three. Triple them. That, that, that's a big memory. That's a cool thing. Mm-hmm. Like size memory. Triple. Outer's patented built-in outer shell cover protects your furniture from rain and dew. It's the how did no one think of this before invention that made Shark Tank's Lori Griner and Mr. Wonderful fight to invest in outer. Look, go check it out. You're going to love it. Give you some great ideas. If you're smack dab in a remodel like I am, that's a good idea. That's a place mm-hmm. to start. So it's really awesome. I love the sectionals. Who don't like to just go out there and cuddle up with you, woman? That's a good thing. Plus, we're going to need a big one because we got two little ones coming with it. <laughs> That's right. Their furniture comes with best in-class warranties, like 10 years for their aluminum line and a two-week free trial with free return. See the difference at liveouter.com slash duck. Plus, for a limited time, get $300 off and free shipping. This is Outer's best offer anywhere, only available to podcast listeners, and only for a limited time, get $300 off and free shipping at Live o-u-t-e-r dot com slash duck liveouter dot com slash duck terms and conditions man. I wish we had about a 12 foot alligator pet in here <laughs> roll <laughs> no, are we rolling? Hey, no, stop. Tell, tell us about your pet alligator when you and Phil were growing up hey, look we had one that we had him tied over at Red River Anytime we wanted to go somewhere, went over and hopped on him, untied him, and hey, took him down river, up river, whatever. You had a pet alligator How on a leash? Was, uh, hey, this is a story, JD. <laughs> Jerry Clowers, but. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but hey, the Red River is full of them. Keeping Jerry Clowers' memory alive. That's right, boys. Right hey. here. Hey, storytelling. That's Why would you out. want a twelve foot alligator in this I room? I would. I would like to have him in here as a pet. Why? In here? It'd just be fun. No, it won't. Yeah, it would. Me and Stone, every time we go fishing, we could take the carcasses and bring them in here and feed the big big alligator. We can put him out there with a duck. Hey, we can call him a 12-foot hey, alligator. Hey, and look, we could call him Big Head. <laughs> but what are you going to I ain't calling him nothing. Oh, I call him Big Head. That may be the one that ate Chubb's finger. Hey, Ooh. well, hey, I call him anything he want me to call him. No, nah, he, he's dead. Yeah. 12-foot <laughs> alligator. Happy got him. But where would no, you I put had it? My, this is I a had small my, room. I had my experience with the 12 or 15 alligators down there in Venice. Ooh. That now was, you want a whole dozen out? So you I wouldn't know. even get next to the bank of the water, but now you want one well, in no, here with when us? I walked down there, what got me about that is that, hey, that duckweed that gadwalls eat was all over the top of water. You couldn't see nothing but that. And I'm going down there, and I'm getting close to the water, and that's when Josh slapped the water with that stupid 
skeleton of that speckled trout, and then that big 11-foot alligator come out of the water. And what did you do? And I went back up the hill. <laughs> and you want one in here with oh, us? Yeah. yeah, I want one in here as a pet. Hold on now. Yeah. You hate snakes, but you'll take alligators? Oh, no, I like alligators. Okay. Right, we get I'm... a pet alligator as soon as we get a pet snake. Y'all need to put a pet alligator in that in the pond out there. With I've the been ducks. saying that for years. I know. Who's gonna take care of me? I uh, wasn't gonna duck, do that. Ducks? Huh? <laughs> the ducks? <laughs> the ducks? Oh yeah, the ducks will take care of it. Self feeding. How are the ducks, hey, by the way? We're down to like three, I think. Well, you'll I be down say, more now. You'll, you'll have to keep adding more ducks, <laughs> you know, because the alligator's gonna eat the duck. <laughs> I'm about tired of feeding them stupid. Ducks. Uh, well, hey. That's or sell some hey. food. <laughs> a lot of people that's feed them. Yeah, I hey. tried to figure out a way to get one of them gumball machines. <laughs> no, no, you can put a quarter in there and yeah. get you a little cup of corn and dump it out there. <laughs> they too. got them at the zoo. But the problem is we're going to have kids come in there and dump that corn in the water, and then we just got a big vat of freaking Everclear. Like, I mean, it's just going to be... <laughs> It's just going to be fermented water. Like, we're going to have a big liquor distillery hey, out right. there. That's right. And going to stink. Be drunk, must boys. be 21 to feed the ducks. That's right. They must be 21. If, if you could get them smart enough where they just pour it on the ground, I'd do it. But then as soon as that corn start going in that water, we're going to have a big pile of stink on our hands. Right. Hey. I got a question, though, about Jace and why he gets yeah. the least manliest dogs of any human being I've ever seen. Because he hates dogs. It, they're... He's got two dogs. My kid, literally, my three-year-old daughter's like, it's a yippy dog. It is f like five pounds oh, yeah. and a little cotton ball, and yeah. they just, you drive, you All walk they do by, bark, you drive they by. They will bark at you. A yippy. Because he ain't picking the dogs out. That's right, a yippy. Well, Missy is. And he hates dogs. That's right. It's just like Stone, he, he hates humans. Yeah. <laughs> Stone doesn't hate humans. <laughs> He's got a list more. of ten oh, people Stone, that. But you got to realize something. Stone's a people person from way back. <laughs> so Jace grew up in a duck hunting family, and Phil, God love him, he ain't had but one good dog out of twenty. Yeah, Blue? He's had one good no, one and a Vegas. couple of okay ones. What about the last Who one? Who was that... the good one? Vegas. Vegas? Peggy. Peggy. I ain't heard. Peggy of was a Jeep. Peggy. You Sue. remember Peggy? Peggy. Peggy Sue. I don't even. Peggy Sue. Never. Me no. Don't remember. The one I remember is she was a, a golden lab. That was the best one he had. Talking about Chet? No, no, that's Bill's dog. Yeah? Yeah, the, the ladder climber. Yeah. Peggy, to me, was the best one I've hunted with. Now, I didn't get to hunt with none of them. But I was on the heels of Peggy. And, well, then, we, was... and then we had Trace, which was like the best, mildest-mannered lab. But she just didn't have it. I mean, she go yeah, get them. Yeah. But she but, wasn't in no hurry. But wasn't no like Ember's dog. And, wasn't and a, enthused about it. And a cripple was gonna slick her every time. Oh, yeah. She's just yeah. like, ah, whatever. Yeah. yeah. Now blue. The best one for retrieving. Ooh. Yeah. The best one for retrieving was blue. But he had <laughs> he had a bunch of issues. Yeah. He, okay. he was a bunch. He was hearing things in his head. Oh, no, no, no. He, uh, and no, singing blue along had a bunch with of it. Issues. Blue okay. blue his side. Blue his like at blue kind of like at uh that uh that number 11 on that Stranger Things show. Just kind of, no you know, there's something, they something different about it. <laughs> you know? That's, that's where Blue is. I don't even remember, so what, the, I don't even remember what the Golden Lab was. <laughs> Your but poodle? I, I know. The Golden Lab I used to have in Junction City, Arkansas. Oh, I wasn't. Yeah, right, but Junction look, City, yeah. I wasn't, she was, I she wasn't was even the, a thought. She then. was the all-around hunting dog. And good family dog. Okay, so because he hunted Blue. squirrel with her, because all she'd do is she'd run up there. If there was a squirrel in a tree, she'd put her paws on it, you know, back up, go ahead and shoot him with a shotgun. Because that's cat squirrel or fox squirrel up there, trust me. Then wood ducks, you know, we'd shoot them on the creek, on Dar oh, not on Darbone Creek, but on uh, Corny Creek. Slip, in, slip up in, in a bend. Where the all the acorns float and float and are in that bend, there'd always be a bunch of wood ducks there. Bushwhack them. So hey, we slip up there. It's bushwhack. And, hey, you got to know this: wood ducks are slick. Oh yeah. Because hey, we'd slip up there crawling on their belly like snakes <laughs> to the edge of the edge of the creek and raise up. When we did, they wouldn't jump up and fly. They'd dive. And about 30 yards out in the middle of the creek, here they come up out of the water flying. Submarine. Oh, yeah. So you had to be pretty good. 
Because you had to just be ready, and then whenever they popped up out there about 30, 40 yards, go ahead and get down, get start killing. I'd oh, love to have went to size elementary school. Oh, no, no. Show and tell. Oh, no, no. I remember right. one time I'm oh, daydreaming, Lord. and I'm into it big time. Yeah. Because I'm flipping up on a 12-point buck with a bow. And you're – this is a daydream? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm in class. <laughs> He's probably sleepwalking. No, 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 no. I'm serious. <laughs> okay. And I hear this voice – you know, saying something, I just, shh. <laughs> That's his teacher. No, no, I, to the teacher, I, shh, I'm flipping up on this buck. <laughs> you know, and then there's just a horrific <laughs> roar of laughter brought me out of it. I'm telling you, elementary school been wild with Si. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Wow. I have seen Cy sleep with his eyes open. Oh, okay. That's that's the truth. <laughs> oh, hey, you learned that in the military. Oh, hey. It's scary. Uh, yeah, you but learn that in the military. You sleep dog. anywhere, anytime, even standing up if you have Guys, to. You can't sleep. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I can. Hey, look. So, so we when we went quail hunting, those dogs were amazing. They let them out, and they would sneak up on them quail. <laughs> and then, look, they just freeze when they sit, get close enough. They just lock up right where the quail are. I always like them. I always liked it when, when they, they train him one. The dog handler would come up there and grab him by the tail and put it, set him down. <laughs> All right, let's take that, a break. That reboots him. <laughs> si, that sure. reboots him. No, no, well, I'm we go. He, Hey, he'd grab him by the tail, and like if he wasn't pointing the right place, he'd just put him where he's pointing the right way. It's a rudder system. Oh, oh no, it's okay. hilarious. I didn't know where we was going with no, that, no, but I was no, ready to get out no, of there. No, no, it's <laughs> it is time. He, That's he funny. didn't know where we was going, so I scared him. I was ready to leave. Hey, he's like he's like the guy with that kill switch, Martin is. That's it, boy. Yeah. Hey. Oh, I'll pull the plug now. Go right. ahead and pull. For real, though, let's take a break. Uh, we'll take back. a break, boy. For real. You do yard work? Oh, do I do yard work? Yeah. I didn't know you did yard about four acres. Weed eat. I take care of all of them. Well, how many? You have two boys or three? Two boys, one girl. You made them do a lot of yard work for a yeah, while. But, but now they've moved. Grown and gone. So now you're on your own. So I was mowing Saturday. Remember I, I was telling you I got some. Uh, you got some metal in your ear. Some sparks from cutting a piece of metal with a grinder. Got some sparks in Y'all my ear. Y'all didn't know this, but this is an odd jobs kind of guy in here. Oh, yeah. it's I'm a regular Godwin. <laughs> it's but, oh, Godwin's a parts changer. So I'm I'm riding my mower back up to the house. I'm I'm I'm, I'm through mowing, and something has flown or crawled up into my shorts. Oh, oh yeah, and that's now, a lonely feeling here. It's either a <laughs> lizard or a field mouse. Oh no! Oh oh, yeah. oh big! Oh, it's something that's. I, I was thinking I, insect. No, no, we talking about something with. Oh okay. So <laughs> my wife you just saw his face. My wife is outside cooking. And she's looking, and the mower's going one way, and I'm jumping off the mower going the other way. But I'm trying to hold whatever it is in my pants. Why do you want to keep it there? Because <laughs> I don't want it going up any further. It's got, no, he's, he's. Oh, you, you, you created a barrier. I've got a. Great wall. I've got a death grip right down here on something that's alive. And I'm taking my shorts off and running toward my wife so she can help me. And you just bailed on the mower. The mower has gone into the woods by now. Well, here's a. I want to just make an observation here. Hold on. I can't let go of it because well, I'm I not understand. sure what it is. I understand that. That mower can take you faster than the two little stumpy legs can. Why didn't you just ride it? <laughs> I just, it speaks volumes about uh -huh. your wife, though, that you got in trouble and you just started running to her for help. Yeah, she had a spatula in her hand. I said, <laughs> I said, honey, help me. And she starts walking toward me. She's like, what are you doing? Aim small, miss small. So I managed to get my belt off with one hand while I'm strangling something else with the other, some animal. And I finally get my shorts off, and I'm beating them on the concrete. Here she comes with the spatula. I was like, "Did it get me? Did it? You know?" And at, we at this point, you're not wearing any pants, and you're out right, in your yard. Right, exactly. Do you have a ring video doorbell? 
Not that I can the show you. The song needs to be written here is naked it? in my front yard. Is this on video? <laughs> <laughs> Not as far as you know. <laughs> so my daughter walks outside to help cook and turns around and walks back in. She said, no. Daddy's in his drawers again. He's out in the yard in the drawers again. <laughs> so she said, that's usually Saturday night, not Saturday morning. I go inside. I leave the shorts there because something's dead and whatever it is. But Are I'm you wanna, sure? We yeah. didn't even inspect it? Yes, we went back. She said, let's go find out what it was. And? There's nothing? Nothing in my pants. <laughs> it's gone. It has crawled off. And she said, that was a mouse. A mouse got up in your shorts. Ain't no way. That's what, that's Boy, what ain't no way. Thought. Boy, ain't no way. Ain't no mouse got up in there. You grabbed that mouse, he'd have bit you. Yeah. No, it was something he'd either alive. He'd have either bit your leg or it your was finger. About, oh, yeah. It was probably about this big. But it was squishy. It's a duck call that he's holding for our listeners. It was, it was squishy and moving. I mean. Was it, it a snake? It could have been a snake. No, nah, who wasn't a snake? He would have bit you too. Well, nah, he didn't it, have a chance I'm to I'm going bite. with a lizard. Because I, I clamped down so hard. Gecko. Lizard, yeah. What's that lizard with the blue tail? Oh, a skink. Yeah, that's you what You wouldn't have been able to kill him just with your hands. Uh-uh. Clearly he didn't. I didn't kill him. He crawled away. Oh. I mean, I had a death grip on him. And when I got them shorts off and slammed them on the ground and took off running inside, my wife's inspecting me. She's like, you're fine. Go back out there and finish doing right. something, hey, you know. Put your put pants, pants back on. Put your yeah, pants, put back, your pants back, on. back on. Go back and finish the yard. <laughs> she wasn't impressed with my rodeo riding, <laughs> shorts throwing. <laughs> no. <laughs> That's a true story. Philip. That's not even 5% fake. It's Philip, true. Philip, five foot seven, got two foot long legs. And says, you know what? I can outrun that yeah, lawnmower. I can outrun it. You, you, had some, you had some tactical errors involved yeah, with this anyway. was going in the wrong direction. You'd have never made it. Turn that thing around. You didn't have time. You'd have never made it as a Navy SEAL. You can't think. you got to be when, cool when under pressure. Something's no, going he's, up he's more equivalent to a baby SEAL. <laughs> when something's crawling up your pants leg, shorts leg, you cannot stop and think. Maybe I'll just ride my mower to the house. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. No, you're like, help me, honey. I, I got something. Yeah, I will have to say. Let's analyze this. Yeah. Uh, I will have to say, I learned a valuable lesson in high school about exactly what you're talking about. We, I always had to work through the summers. And the only thing you can do then, basically, was landscape yards. Like, that's just what you that's did. It. Young, strong back, that's what you did. That's it. Not much mentally. It's hot, right? Yeah. <laughs> Not much yeah. mentally. No, you didn't have a lot going on yeah, you up there. Ain't, you ain't got much going on up yeah. top. You know, cash registers or landscaping. That's about the only two things you was mildly qualified to do. <laughs> but I learned a lesson. I mean, it was hot. And one day I said, you know what? I know they say wear pants. I'm wearing shorts. And, buddy, I got eat up by some purple tail wasp up in a bush. Ooh. And I said, you know what? I see why they say wear britches every day. So to this day, I don't do any yard work in short because yeah. you have you have exposed yourself yep. Yep. To, to more peril. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, wear them britches all the way. I don't care how hot it is. Yeah. Wear britches. Wear yeah. sleeves. Wear britches. It was awful. Yeah. That's I'm, one thing I'm why traumatized. Most people, most people have yard people that do their yards and stuff. And I know they're watching and talking, wait a minute. That idiot's got a like a jersey, football jersey on, long sleeve football jersey on, <laughs> and long pants <laughs> and a hat. Barriers. Yeah. Why is he wearing all that? It's not his all. Get out. Now of my there. dad was a tough one to be out there weed eating with shorts and no shirt on, <laughs> just taking them little pebbles and sand all up against him. Uh, He'd no. also weld without a shirt on, so I don't know. You know. No, no more messing with metal and grinders. Oh yeah. yeah. No, without ear protection. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's dangerous. Hey, I've, I've I had eye a, protection. I can't remember where it was on at. something going in my ear and then up my shorts. I don't know, but it happened to me fishing, and I had to question everything about life. So. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, yeah. When yeah. you were talking about that, I remember I'm watching some guy mow somewhere. I don't even remember where it was at. And he keeps, he's mowing around a tree. You know, and it's one of these things that are like this, coming, hanging limbs all around. And, and he's getting, you know, he comes in. He, every day he'll duck a little bit and go under it. And, you know, after about the third pass, okay, I'm looking, I'm saying, what is that on that limb? Uh-oh. Yeah, and this guy's going toward it and fixing the duck again. You know, and it's about that big around. Uh-uh. 
and it's purple. Mm-mm. Ooh. Mm-mm. Yo, and I then it I'm ah! <laughs> I'm trying to tell him, hey, don't go on, don't go under the limb. He don't know what it is. Oh no, too late. How hard do you hey, laugh? He hit and like you talking about, hey, the mower's going that uh, way. Oh yeah. He's, He's running this way and just now. I grabbing, will say, wait, grabbing his short. <laughs> what was purple? Yeah. Walsh hey, mess. I, I oh yeah. Tell Walsh. Yeah. Now I will say, in the case of stinging insects, leave the engine running and get away, because they'll yeah. go after that engine. Yeah. Yeah. That's they, one time hey. to abandon your vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> Jump in nearest water you can find. Get yeah. the heck away from yeah. that thing. No, no. I'm down there on Phil's property with a backhoe, and I'm digging. Uh oh. And guess what? Bombo bee. <laughs> them bad little. Oh, yellow little, jacket. Oh, no. The, 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 the dirt, dirt got dog. nest in the ground. Yeah, yellow yeah. jacket. Oh, yeah, I yellow done, jacket. I done got him and I, and look, I just cut the nest in, in half and it's about that big around. Uh huh. You know, Don't I hear, open I hear, the door. I hear bzz, 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 bzz. Are they getting in on you? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Then Uh-oh. open the door and exit immediately. Oh, no, no. It don't have no doors. <laughs> oh, you ain't got no cab. <laughs> no, we ain't got no cab. That's before Phil had but any once, money. Before the dinosaurs. He got a buzz, cab now. Yeah, buzz, buzz, and then it was pay out. Whoa. I'm off of it. Let that thing run for four hey, days till oh, it runs hey, out of diesel. No, Who cares? Hey, I told Let, Phil, I said, hey, you probably going to get a mechanic to come out here and get this thing cranked. It may take him a day to get the fuel to it. <laughs> Leave it running, baby. It's gonna run until it dies, buddy. Yeah, go back at dark. Yeah. With a can of gas oh. and a box of matches. Oh no, that's how I, I'm telling you, it's big as a basketball. Mm. And I cut it in half. <laughs> but yeah. they didn't give me but three times. Worst one I ever had. <laughs> we'll go to break. Bad, but the worst they popped me three times and hey, that's the worst. <laughs> one of them stung Phil on his toe. He had one of them uh, stupid things that Crocs. Crocs. Yeah. He got a croc hole in it. Yo, he's out there doing something, and one popped him right between the toe. Oh. Big toe and another one. Oh, no. Crock pops. Hey. Yeah. Ow. Worst Yo. one we ever had. We had deer lease over in Jackson oh. Parish, and we, you know, a tree had done falling halfway across the road just because that's what trees do eventually. <laughs> that's right. So we out there cutting it down, cutting it up, and we finally break it free, and it falls. And, buddy, I guess it fell on one or close enough to one. Yeah, to, to well, all, we, we don't even know nothing. All of a sudden, the dog, the old camp dog used to live over there, he come running back. By, rrr, 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 rrr. <laughs> I'm, we're looking like, well, we know the tree didn't fall on you. What's the problem? <laughs> and then about that time, here come the reinforcements after us. And, buddy, we's running. <laughs> Left that chainsaw running, set that thing down. <laughs> and, I mean, just getting tagged the whole way back so we could get to a shelter. And it mm. was misery. Oh. That gum yellow jackets. And then went back down there at dark, and there's like 20 of them still on the chainsaw. Like, yeah, you fire oh, yeah, up yeah, again. Yeah, yeah you come suck. on back. Get Bring it up again. Yeah. Hold on. Before we go to break, my buddy, there was a yellow jacket, uh, I guess, nest in the ground, how they come up out of there. Mm-hmm. He was like, I'm fixing to teach them a lesson. Like, what are you getting? Gasoline? What are you going to do? He's like, no, no. I'm fixing to shoot them with my shotgun. Just bah, bah, bah. That's dumb. Yeah. So here's what happened when he yeah. started shooting. You don't hang out in smart crowds, do you? Well, I'm with you, Arna. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so the, they fly at him and sting him in his nose. Well, yeah. Look, he looks like the elephant man. Oh, no. I'm telling you, he got dough popped. Mm. What is it? The, the supersonic? Heck if I know. It's, it's the same thing. Was I, I watched a guy shoot a stupid uh, uh, harness thing up, no, up in the limb. Huh. It was 22. Yeah. And it was just, pow, wow. I mean, it was just, pow, the 20, and then pow, just right between the eyes. Stung Look, Not a ricochet. Hey, hey, no, no, <laughs> wasn't no ricochet. That mm-hmm. hornet traveled the same area that that 22 rifle bullet traveled. What? Back. Didn't even run into the scope. Hey, didn't even run into the scope. Right there between the eyes. <laughs> pow, <y'all. laughs> <laughs> Sonic Hornets. Hey, I'm telling you, Why is it so fun? That, no, no, that's true. Cause I, I no, tell you what, I, you don't believe it. It really hey, is. I be my guest inside, baby. Oh, Let's see what happens. No, what I was gonna say, there's the the problem with stings. If you're watching, they're one of the funniest things you'll ever see. Oh no, 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 no! But if you're in the middle of it, it oh, yeah. is the loneliest my place mother. on planet oh, Earth. Yeah. My like, mother. It is. It is just pure. <laughs> I gotta tell you this misery. story. Okay, me and Phil are squirreling in the woods, okay? 
He crosses a fence, and the fence post has rotted out. Oh, yeah, we know this. In the middle. Bombos, baby. Okay, and look. Yeah. Phil gets in and goes under them, you know, and shakes them up real good. Okay. Well, I crawl through the fence, and when I do, I hear a rip. I done tore my blue jeans. Uh-oh. So, you know, and then I hear the woo. You know, why we he takes off running, I do too. Okay, one popped me. Okay, well I trip over a stupid cypress sneak and fall, and I had read it somewhere in a book. You didn't play dead, did you? Oh yeah, yeah. I had read it in the book. Okay, if they're chasing you, hit the ground and don't move, and they'll fly over you. Well, what I didn't know though, okay, is that hey, my blue jeans had ripped, and guess what's showing? White underwear. Your bumble. Okay, so I'm telling you, hey, I can see the leader of this squadrons of bees. <laughs> he's like him. He's like him films that the show <laughs> on Memorial Day. Yo, as the, the leader goes, to everybody this yo. Know, the target's right down here, guys. <laughs> and then there's one of them. <laughs> so I get home. Okay, I get up from the ground and I'm literally running and crushing. Behind my butt. Okay, my blue jeans. Look, I get home. My my mother takes me in the bathroom and says, drop, drop your drawer, son. And she's just busted, just dying laughing as she's taking tweezers. I'm telling you. It's the funniest place hey, ever if you no, ain't no, the no. one getting hey. ate up by it. He's going to give us 20, a number. Hey, 27 times, okay, Ow, ow, and she's dying laughing the whole time. Ow, I'm I'm the one going, ow, ow, ow. And she's on the floor just dying laughing. She said, hey, there's one good thing come out of this. You ain't never had a butt to speak of. <laughs> she said, but for about two weeks, you're going to have the biggest butt you ever had. Oh, well, let's take our last break. We'll be back. <laughs> Johnny D, what's in that mailbag? Let's let's end this out on a. I got a lot of really good ones. Do I you? read them this morning. And let's start with your best. It All was right. hard to. Ne- I got I got one. I even emailed this person back just in case Uh-oh. we didn't get to it. It's but the I'm, best shot, boys. Hit me just, with your best shot. Best I, shot. It needs to be answered. Taylor, uh, she's originally from North Carolina, but now she only lives thirty minutes from the Buckies in Florida, which is how we tell time and space now here at the Duck Call Room. <laughs> How far are you from a Bucky's? Yeah, we're about five and a half hours from that one. <laughs> so she enjoys listening to the podcast. Uh, she she just really likes it. But she would like some advice on a boy that she has known for over 15 years. She's in her mid-20s. They've known each other since elementary school, and she's liked him mm-hmm. since the first time they met. Mm-hmm. That's a long time ago. We've gone to the same church. Our families are good friends. and They've gone through a lot of stuff together. But I don't know how to let him know I want our relationship to be more than just friends, or should I just continue to wait and hope my subtle signals work? As men, how would you like a longtime friend to let you know how she feels? I don't want to compromise our friendship. I have, I have advice for this, if nobody else does. Well, uh, go ahead. Men are stupid. <laughs> is my advice, Taylor. I so, don't disagree uh, with that assessment. So your subtle signals, uh, he's not going to pick up on. No. Nope. Of course, and, I got to wonder what your subtle signals are cuz at some point don't you just call in the cavalry? Like well, but she, Don't you just ask him if he wants to go eat a pizza and make out or something? No. Well, yeah, but but I no, think speaking she, of the cavalry, hey, someone needs to say charge. Uh, so size with me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about your speakers yeah. going down the road. Sorry about that. <laughs> yeah, but, <laughs> but we're trying. No, I I do think you know she because she's she's worried it's gonna get weird, right? Like if you got a friend and you're like, hey, it's time, and he's like, no, it could get weird. Oh, that's fine. But I, you gotta ri- life is short. Well, hey, you gotta take that chance. Yeah. Hey. If it if it's if it's what you think it's supposed to be, yeah. then go find out. And once again, yeah. the worst thing he's going to say is no. And no, then, but thank you. And it'll be weird for a little bit, a but then minute. it'll be back to normal 
but for long, you're mm-hmm. never going to drift to a certain goal. You're not going to drift there. You have to be purposeful and tell them what you want. Because he may be thinking he dropping subtle hints too and wondering what in the world you waiting on. And you got to remember, he's not that smart. Yeah, agree. Because he's a man. He's oh, a man. Yeah. And he's dumb. Subtle signals do it's, not work. Especially at the age of mid 20s, he's real dumb. Been there. <laughs> Real dumb. That was ten years ago for me. He's real <laughs> dumb. But if you it, you you gonna have to just spell it out for him. Yeah. It's my. I think you need to call him. Say, hey, let's go. Maybe not get a pizza and make out. That might be too aggressive. Yeah. But say, let's go get a bite to eat, and you just gotta say it. Like, yeah. We've been friends for fifteen years. Yeah. We obviously work well together. And I actually, as long want, as you I address, it. wanted to go into something else. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Well, yeah, you, as long as you address it, I mean, you can make it lighthearted. You can make it very serious. I would go with the lighthearted. I'd say, you know what? We've been friends for a long time. Let's take a next step. What do you say? No, no. <laughs> I mean, what you, you can't you can't go wrong with just addressing it. I think you yeah. just lay it out there, Taylor. Just, I, I agree. I agree. Taylor, go for it. That's it. I, was, I emailed her back. I said, I'm going to try and uh, get this answered, but go for it. Um, yeah, fire away. Make so we're move. all on the same page. Take Make a shot. Move, Take a shot. Absolutely. I love it. All right. Uh, my next email, wait, this this one got me. The subject lines always get me. Proposal advice. Proposal Uh-oh. advice. How do we want to do it? Zach from Virginia. Uh, they've been, he's got a girlfriend, been together a few years. See, it's time to propose, right? Although, his, we'll get there. Uh, so he's already got a ring. That's step one. Okay. And he has an idea of how he wants to ask, and it's very duck hunting oriented. They oh, they have a dog together, and that dog retrieves the birds. So he wants the dog to come back with a band. But he's going to switch it, and it's going to be a band to duck that says, will you marry? And, and so there's a lot going on uh, here. A lot of moving parts. A lot of I moving like parts. I like it. Uh, so <clears throat> when she gets her... Duck back. The dog's going to bring it to him. He's going to switch the band, put the band on it, take it to her. Then she's going to read, will you marry me? But that's a long way away, kind of. Only if you're legal. <laughs> so what's, the, what's his question? Hey, Is what? that a good idea? Actually, what you should do, and these things exist everywhere. Pen raise mallards. It sounds weird. Yeah. But. It's a European thing that's made its way over here. That's it. You get with that place first and give them the band. And then they can put it on the duck's leg, and then the first one they turn loose for you, oh, yeah, yeah, she gets it, it, they bring it back, it. boom, yeah. there you go. Take out the middle man. Yeah, you don't have to switch I, it. I just, I think we got to simplify this, though. That's just me. Well, There's a lot so. of moving I, well, parts here, and I don't like the fact of an engagement ring being in a duck blind. Well, and I'm, I'm just. If you drop that thing. Yeah. I'm going to go with this, dude. I'm totally cool. Like if you unredneckify this thing, mm. you can do the same thing with a dummy in the mm-hmm. backyard and throw it for you, throw it for your dog to go get and bring it back. And it's Try already got the band on. So take that to your mama. Yeah. Yeah. And, and then, and then you're just in the backyard. Yeah. yeah. She'll, re- she might, you know, you can, she's not going to be all. And there's no guns animal. involved if it's a no. Yeah. No guns involved if it's a no <laughs> is a very yeah, good idea. Yeah, with the guns involved, you, no. you, know, you don't want to hear the word no. <laughs> but but you don't want too much focus on on just the presentation. I mean, you want I the like focus that. to be on let's me and you get married and be together for the rest yeah. of our lives. How, did you how about this? Jace blew it. I don't know if y'all know this. When he proposed to Missy, he buried the ring down into a, a pot, a pot of dirt. Yeah, and she was like digging and keep digging, keep digging, keep. Finally, when she gets it, she's filthy and dirty, and she hated the proposal. <laughs> and but she said yes, but she's like, now let's go wash up. But yeah, I like Martin's idea because she's <laughs> she's too. gonna remember this moment forever, mm-hmm. and you can get your buddy in the woods somewhere near the field taking pictures from a distance. Yeah, do and it in the that'll yard. mean oh, a lot a good to idea. her. Yeah, yeah, I didn't do that. Well, just make sure that the How ring is propose? on where it ain't gonna get lost. That'd oh my! Yeah. I proposed. Yeah. It was her birthday. We've been together two years, something like that, and I just told her, you know, we still living apart at time, like <laughs> separate. And I said, no, nah, I ain't coming. Whatever. I ain't coming for your birthday, all that. <laughs> so, no, I mean, well, we got too much going on. You know, show was going on, all that. And then I just showed up at her apartment. 
I just knocked on the door and I was on one knee. And I said, do you want to? Wait, that's pretty you just good. knocked on the door and were on one knee when she opened it? Uh-huh. Martin. Yeah, she was in like pajamas. Like she come, she was I so. I didn't know that. Oh, yeah. No, I just drove up there and said, I, I nervous wrecked the whole time. Thank goodness, like find my iPhone and all that wasn't a thing then because she'd attract me the whole way. She's like, hey, what are you doing? I'm like, no, <laughs> nothing. We just working. Did you put this in your book? What book? Yeah, oh, you hadn't let anybody know yet. Huh? <laughs> Never mind. Oh. Now you got to write one. Yeah. No, I, I, I did the either. same. We were going on a date to the Outback Steakhouse. Ooh, no rules, just right. Exactly. And so <laughs> we were going to get some cheese fries, and I just kept playing up them cheese fries. And then I rang the doorbell, got on a knee, and she opened it. Yeah. And I was like, I just said, what do you mean? And her first question was, what? Because yeah. it just caught her off guard, and then she started crying. Well, then I was like, oh, your mom is eating, and dad are eating with my parents at their house but then there was a big party there yeah it was clever but yeah she's got i don't know that she's gonna want to be all dirty and in the duck blind and maybe drop I like the it. do you oh, wanna? i do it i do it yeah that's what i say i say you want to you want to you want you interested so I tell him about you not having a ring <laughs> oh no look you know we go, uh-huh we go to the justice of peace and and you know he used a right. cigar wrapper no no <laughs> and the guy in the justice of peace says uh, where's the ring well they had handed me a Somebody had me congratulations on his cigar. I just pulled a cigar out, pulled a band. I said, hey, use this. That'll do it. That's a placeholder. It's a boy. Said, hey. Well, Zach, I hope what you I said, hey, the us. ring don't mean nothing. Is well, How long have you been married? 51 years. 51, yeah. 12, 7. Seven 32. 32. Yeah. There's no wrong way to do it. You got to be yourself. Yeah, she got her ring. Trust oh, me. Oh, she got a ring. Yeah. I was there. Yeah, oh, she Christine. got a ring. Okay, yeah. and I, it I took a while. I, I tell her, don't wear that out in public. Yeah, said, somebody liable, somebody liable to cut that finger off to get that. No, thing. I've seen it. You think it was fake? <laughs> well, I know. It's so big. I, I was slicked on that. <laughs> no, okay. no, you, you were. You wasn't slicked yeah. on that. You was making more money than oh, you spend. No, no, so. no, no. Somebody slicked me on that because they told me one figure, and then when I found out really what I paid for it, yeah, I got slicked. The queen of the seven one two needs yeah. that. Queen of your double, your triple wide trailer now. <laughs> <laughs> I can no. guarantee you. <laughs> all right, that's awesome. Well, Zach, good luck, Zach. Do good it. Good luck. Right. I vote though. You're talking about duck season. I'd simplify it. Get simplify it, over it with. and do it. Because like I was going to wait, too, but once I got that ring, it's a hot potato. I got to get rid of this hey, thing. Hey, hey, <laughs> three days after I had that ring, I was like. I got to put a ring. I got to like, get ring rid of this thing. Ring. Once yeah. I had the you, yeah, I was the same way. I wasn't going to keep no ring hidden because no. I lose. Yeah, they wrote a song about it. Put a ring right. on it. Boy. Close us out, Johnny D. <laughs> Thanks, Let's go Beyonce. Home. All right, Romans one twenty. This was my verse for the morning, and it that's made me. Good, that's a good chapter. It made me think of Psy Uh-oh. Uh, when I read it. For since the creation of the world, God's invisible qualities, his eternal power and divine nature have been clearly seen. He knows it. Have been clearly seen, being understood from what has been made so that people are without excuse. excuse. So when you look around, it's pretty evident all this didn't just pop up and swam. Amen. It's too perfect. It's too perfect. God made it. God made you. We love you. We want you to believe with us. Amen. We'll see y'all next time. There it is. Good one, Johnny D.